welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i am back with another video and in this video i will be showing you guys how i created this press on nail set so without further ado let's get into the video so the set that i'm creating is a set that my customer sent me a picture of that she had wanted for her own um the original artist is nails with ari so that is a set we'll be creating today um, for the base of these nails, I will be using, as always, Me Secrets Cover Pink.
All right, y'all, this is how the application is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and start filing and shaping them. As you guys can see, I like to take the nails off of the stand because I like really get in there with shaping and the stand just kind of irritates it, so, or irritates me. Um, so it's just better for me to take it off of the stand. I like to file the surface of the nails and I like to file underneath the nails. Um, it's very important that you file underneath the nails. I just take it like so and just file it on the whole file, um, if that makes sense, so that I can get underneath both sides easily and quick. Um, you want to make sure you file underneath the nails, but not so much because you want them to um, fit, but you want to make sure that they lay flat as well on, the, on your customer's nail plate, so you want to make sure you file underneath that nail. As well as like, you know, cleaning it up and defining the shape. A lot of people um, have an issue with shrink and press ons, quote unquote, shrink and press ons. And so that's one of the things I mentioned before. Um, I want to make a whole video about it, but that's one of the most important things. You want to make sure that you file it underneath the nails so that the nail can lay flat on the nail bed so it doesn't give that like tight feel. But you want to also make sure you're not filing too much because like I said, if you file too much, you'll file away the size ultimately and you want them to still fit. But like I said before, I'm going to make a whole video about it as well as I'm going to make a whole video too about everything you need to um, to make press-ons to like start making press-ons and you know like selling them. Um, I have that video cooking up as well for you guys so um, stay tuned for that. Alright y'all, this is how the nails are looking after the nails are filed and shaped. And next I'm going to go ahead and start the designs. I'm going to go ahead and put on my little ring palette that I got from Shein. If you guys have not seen my Shein nail haul, go watch it. There's so many great things in there. Um, and I will be using Nail House's Pepto Gel Polish for the French part of these nails. Gonna go ahead and cure that in a lamp for 60 seconds and go ahead and start on the next French nails. Most of the nails of the set are French and we have a couple Burberry and then like a couple sweater nails.
All right, so now that I have all the French nails done, on this nail here, we'll be creating a sweater nail. Just a tip, when you're doing like a glitter sweater nail or something like that, and it will be like glossy or whatever, um, apply the top coat first. For some reason, I didn't do that first. I just went ahead and started um, drawing the sweater like design on the nail and applying the glitter and then like trying to apply the top coat last and it just didn't look right. Um, I ended up having to file it all off. So go ahead and apply the, well, this is how I do it. I don't really want to tell you something wrong but what worked for me was applying the top coat first and then go ahead and creating the sweater nail and the glitter on top Alright y'all, I'm going to get started on this Burberry nail and I will be using Madame Glam's Perfect White as always. That is my favorite white. I will also be using, like we've been using, um, Nail House's Pepto, um, that pink color. And then I'll also be using Madame Glam's Perfect Black. So I'm going to start off first with the base of the design, which is the white part. Um, I'm just going to be drawing a whole bunch of lines, a whole bunch of crosses. And I'll also be carrying each, like, little stage so that, um, the design won't be messed up. Yeah, I'll just let you guys watch the rest.
all right guys and that is all super simple a little cute design and i'm gonna go ahead and insert the final results super cute y'all that's pretty much all i have for this video if you guys enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each time i post a new video you especially don't want to miss the ones where i tell you guys um all of the supplies you need to start making press ones and a whole lot of tips on press ones so be sure to turn on those post notifications thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye